Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Linux channel. Often times I get uh, emails from a few companies and uh, their uh, CEOs or uh, CTOs or um, either uh, mentors or uh, and so on uh, uh, regarding uh, van optimization solution as a mobile application. Either it can be an uh, Android app or uh, an iPhone app and uh, so on. So uh, I need to kind of uh, uh, reply uh, to this uh, context because uh, these days everything is being put as a uh, uh, mobile apps, uh, they are kind of uh, confused uh, that uh, they feel uh, uh, how about uh, making an uh, app based uh, van optimization product and uh, launch it to the market. However, uh, as far as I know with my uh, decade of research in uh, van optimization, uh, I, I can only think about uh, there are few uh, technical uh, challenges involved by doing so such as uh, you need to address one of the fundamental aspect is uh, you need to intercept the packets and you need to process them and you need to do uh, various uh, things like uh, compression tcp acceleration and uh, deduplication whatever uh, you do with your you know van optimization solution um, and uh, it can be any sort of you know patented uh, stuff uh, the provided the case that end, end of the day you are not doing some magic end of the day you are uh, putting across a few algorithms and a few things uh, so that uh, you optimize your uh, you know mobile uh, communication data so that's what is happening in your device so the biggest challenge with that is uh, you need to uh, make sure you do this uh, without any sort of uh, root access if there is a sort of a lock-in in your uh, uh, you know uh, mobile phones uh, in your uh, customers mobile phones you need to have some sort of root access in some cases because end of the day you are intercepting uh, the network packets and uh, you are processing these packets and uh, you are almost creating a tunnel out of it and uh, this needs obviously sort of a root access to do the same and other than that the next biggest technical challenge is uh, your uh, free available cpu cycles assume uh, uh, there is a, a mobile user who is uh, into mobile uh, games and he want to optimize his uh, mobile uh, gaming uh, data for some reason as well. so in that case you can uh, assume uh, uh, by installing this app uh, he wants to optimize the same the challenge is uh, whenever he plays the game there is a lot of you know cpu uh, processing involved and uh, and uh, during these times uh, all the cores in your uh, arm chip are going to be utilized so already there is a load in the system and uh, how do you optimize your uh, network data further while doing so as such so this is the biggest another technical uh, drawback by doing it uh, within your mobile phones as a mobile uh, app as such. so i feel uh, it's uh, one of the dumbest ideas uh, and uh, it needs a lot of uh, processing capabilities and uh, it has to process all network data i'm not talking here about some browser data uh, establishing an ssl connection i'm talking about every kind of mobile <laughs> data communicating with respect to some sort of app in between us so so the challenge is all about how you can make it broadly available with respect to all your users there may be users who may be start uh, start using their uh, smartphones which is uh, of basic configuration and uh, the challenges are not much uh, uh, you can encounter if it is an iphone uh, because you know what you are dealing with the challenge will start once you start dealing with android world because you never know what the device is as so uh, the customer may put it on some sort of smart tv with android in that place and he may put it in uh, a basic smartphone uh, which is not equipped to do such sort of operation which is okay uh, to uh, run few games here and there maybe some uh, clash of clans or stuff like that because i still use my almost like uh, three or uh, three year old tab and uh, I, I just use it to play clash of clans and uh, so on so other than that i feel it is extremely sluggish to even uh, browse across any websites as such in that uh, tab and um, and even uh, the performance of uh, apps like uh, um, Google Mail and uh, Google Hangouts, I feel extremely sluggish in the tab. But I'm extremely comfortable with uh, uh, playing a game like Clash of Clans or perhaps maybe sometime before uh, Candy Crush. So, so this is the challenge. So, if your app is not being widely accepted and widely not compatible with various mobile devices, end of the day, it is going to 
lose its name and uh, that doesn't justify uh, the app you are doing in first place suppose if you are doing this app only for iphone users your entire targeted customers are very limited in that you need to think who is going to buy this app and who is going to do this uh, use this app end of the day and uh, there are also cases some people may have uh, uh, like uh, Uh, unlimited uh, network connection so in that case uh, an unlimited mobile network connection to be f- precise so in that case uh, is that putting this app and optimizing your network is it doing any justification so first you should ask because uh, with my decade of fan optimization research uh, i see there is a acute need of fan optimization around a decade ago or if or around 5 years ago but now that need is slowly it is you know reducing uh, although there is some amount of an optimization now uh, is promoted in the enterprise world for certain other reasons uh, which which is completely understandable but in this case it is something that we are getting more more faster networks so networks are getting faster so i do understand we we do have a need for vr applications and uh, uh, you have a need of 4k uh, you know uh, resolution display resolutions and so on so i do understand the need it is always increasing and uh, no matter how faster the network becomes there is always a need of faster network again so because of these kind of various applications in place so but having said that uh, uh, supporting a van opli- uh, van optimization in a sort of application a van optimization application uh, i feel it is a bad idea and uh, it is not ever going to uh, click and uh, it is not going to get wide acceptance between uh, no users across the world so this is my humble opinion so i do get such mails often uh, and uh, i need to reply the same thing to various ceos uh, time to time <laughs> and uh, i had this opinion uh, uh, when there is like android uh, gingerbread or uh, uh, maybe android uh, uh, honeycomb during that time and uh, i still stick towards uh, this uh, decision even at this point of time where google is yet to decide what is that android n going to be that n stands for us so so this is my opinion and when they ask these things about uh, my project uh, toffee i do again uh, reply the same i don't uh, foresee any future in this and this is the reason uh, i am not really interested uh, putting the toffee across in some sort of an app format it is supposed to be in kernel space for the obvious reasons and if at all you need to support in uh, van optimization you need to support within the kernel space and you, you being it in the kernel space uh, you can anyway uh, support it in um, uh, your android devices because it is linux based end of the day linux kernel based to be precise so you can support it in uh, uh, android uh, devices and uh, iphone it's a complete different challenge but supporting it as a part of your network uh, application in any of these mobile devices is a bad idea as, as far as i know of course uh, there are few vpn applications so apart from encryption they do some sort of uh, packet compression and establish a tunnel but having said that there is also an issue of uh, backdoors and uh, if your <laughs> van optimization solution is hacked and uh, uh, it is going to again tarnish your name of the company Uh, because it is a sweet spot for many hackers across the world to hack and uh, figure it out uh, how to break your system end of the day so so this is also a reason which i don't recommend and in any case if you are uh, working on a complete closed solution and um, you know this is the hurdle you are going to uh, face as so end of the day it is good to go towards uh, using some open source tools and use open standards as much as possible as far as uh, van optimization is considered because as far as i know uh, you can see there are standards available for your network switches there are standards available for your network uh, routers and your pcs and uh, other equipment unfortunately there are no standards available for van optimization as uh, there are only patents available and the only there are uh, hardcore commercial uh, products which do these devices as so unfortunately the open source world is not getting much backed up and uh, there is to be frank there is no standard available 
for any sort of proper van optimization solution across the world as so this is my uh, findings across uh, my entire research throughout my decades of research on <laughs> van optimization and doing it as a mobile app is a complete uh, dumbest idea as far as i know for the same obvious reasons i discussed before so thank you once again for watching this video have a nice day take care bye bye